Hi everyone and welcome to another PDQPD. On today's video I want to show you how to customize your Canvas course navigation using the redirect tool. I have gone into one of the courses in my dashboard and this is my new teacher onboarding course and you can see along the left hand side here there are a number of links that are called collectively the course navigation and some of these are links to elements within the course, for example, announcements and assignments and discussions. But there are others that have been apps that have been added to my navigation pane, for example, Edpuzzle. Now this is something that has been pushed from the top level admin that go to all courses. But you can also add apps by course, which I'll cover in a second. But another thing that you can do is you may have a link that you want your students to access regularly, but there's no app for it. In this case, I'm going to use PowerSchool as an example, but let me show you a couple of the settings um, options first. So here's my navigation pane. I'm going to go to settings because I want to customize this pane. When I click on settings, when I click on the navigation tab at the top here, it shows you all of these elements that are visible to the students. If I want something not visible to the students, I can simply click it and drag it down to the bottom. So I've added people to the list of things that students cannot see. Outcomes is already there. I'd added that before. Um, collaborations. And then when I save this list, those elements you see have the eyeball with the slash through it. That means they're there, they're accessible to you, but not to your students. Now, as for apps, if you want to add an app to your navigation pane, which is what we want to do here, we're going to go to apps. Now the first thing you're going to do when you see this is you're going to see a list of all apps. Now this is a little confusing, but be aware that in order to use this app, you have to, there has to be either a free version of the program or you have a paid version of the program because all an app does is give direct access from Canvas to that particular program. So you're going to see a lot of things here where Canvas has worked with the vendor to supply an app but that doesn't mean you can automatically use it. Some of these you'll see if you were to click on it and you didn't have an account with those particular products, you would not be able to use it. But for example, CK12 is an app that has a free version, so you could use that app. But what I'm gonna show you today is how to add a specific link, not necessarily an app, but a link to our course navigation. Now the way I'm going to do that is I have to use one of the apps. I know that's confusing. But of these apps, the app I want to look for is called the Redirect Tool. And I'm going to type that name in the search, and you can see the Redirect Tool is here. Oddly enough, in my version here, it doesn't have a name on the icon, so it's very difficult to just kind of look through the apps and find it. I'll click on this, and you can see it gives me the option to add the app, which I'm going to do. And then the pane to add the link is pretty simple. At the top here, you're going to click the name that you want to appear on the course navigation. And in this case, I'm going to use PowerSchool because in this example, I'm going to want my students to access PowerSchool regularly, so I want to put that in my navigation pane. So I'll type in the name PowerSchool, and then I'm going to type the URL that I want to go to, and I just simply went to the ACS homepage found the address and I'm going to type it in here or you can copy and paste it and then I'm going to ask it to force open in a new tab and this is for an external link because in this case you don't want to bring anything from PowerSchool into your Canvas course you just want to go from your Canvas course to look at PowerSchool so we're going to call that an external link and we're going to force this open in a new tab and then we want the link to show in course navigation. So I will click this as well. Then I'll click add the app. At the top here it says the app was added successfully and then when I go back to my home page you will see that PowerSchool is added. Now when one of your students is in this course and they click on PowerSchool it will tell them that they're going to an external URL which is fine. Click open in a new tab and in the new tab it takes me to the student and parent login page which is the address that I added. And that's how you can add your own link to your course navigation. Now what happens when you either have made a mistake in this link or you want to get rid of it altogether. Now you can hide it 
by using the settings option that I showed you a second ago. But in order to get rid of it, it's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to go to settings, going to go to apps, and in our install apps, I want to view the app configurations. Now what this will do is this will show you all the apps that have been added somewhere. And then if you go over here to this tool placements, the little I, it will show you on these particular apps. This one shows in account navigation, course assignments, course navigation, or sync grades. But in this case, you can see this wasn't added from outside of this course. So I can go here and click the down arrow. I can edit the placements here. And in this case, it's only on course navigation. But I want to delete this all together. And I can do that by clicking the delete. It will remove the tool. And then it's no longer in my course navigation. So that is how you add a custom URL to your course navigation page. If you have a link that your students use frequently, using the redirect tool is a quick way to add this to your course navigation and get your students there quickly. I hope this is helpful to you, and as always, have a great day.